Released in 2014, this war of mine opened the eyes of many of us to the horrors of war. Now, it's time to admire its cold, austere aesthetic during the exhibition that takes place in one of the most famous museums in the world, Museum of Modern Art in New York City. My name is Paul Galloway. I'm a collection specialist here at the Museum of Modern Art, and I'm one of the co-curators of this exhibition, Never Alone, Video Games and Other Interactive Design. Never Alone, as an exhibition, seeks to help us understand video games through the various parts, the kind of different tools and techniques that designers bring to bear to shape our experience of games. And the main reason we want to do this at the Museum of Modern Art is because we seek to present the art of our time, the most incredible creative energy that's happening in the world around us. And video games are no doubt a huge part of contemporary culture. I think this war of mine is one of the most incredible examples of a video game that takes us to a hard place. Uh, there's often a kind of conversation about um, games as fun and games as diversion, but I think there's an increasing uh, range of games that ask more of their, of their players. When I played this war of mine, it made me sad, it made me afraid, it made me very tense. Um, and in the end, it left me with a really uh, changed understanding of what it means to be playing in a war space. And I think that's an incredible achievement. The 36 video games in our collection are part of the permanent collection of the museum. That means they're here forever. Expect to see them forever at MoMA. Expect to see Pac-Man in 20 years. Expect to see This War of Mine in 50 years. They'll still be playable. They'll still be on the museum of modern.